This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for building your online presence and running your business. What am I going to do for the next tutorial? I don't have an idea. I don't have inspiration. I don't... Master, I need your assistance. CG Matter. Yes, Master, what am I going to do for my next tutorial? You are going to make a colorblind test tutorial. Okay, so apparently if you're colorblind, you can't read the information in these images, but you can make them in Blender. So with Blender open, evaporate the default cube, replace it with a circle, and press F to pay your respects. We can now add in a particle system so that all the particles spawn on the first frame, live for the whole project, have no initial velocity, and aren't affected by gravity, which looks like this, by the way. And next, just add in a sphere, which we'll use as our particle instance, and play around with the scale settings to get something more interesting. Now, of course, we have some overlapping particles, which is what we want to avoid. For some reason, Blender still doesn't have a non-intersecting feature, so to fix this, just set the physics type to fluid with a maximum damp value. In the advanced drop-down, bring up the repulsion, the interaction radius, and boom intersections are kind of sort of mostly avoided. You can change the C value to get different results, but when you're happy with this, just make your instances real, delete original emitter, and choose some circular selection of spheres that you want to keep. Now switch over to individual origin, scale everything down to prevent overlapping, join these together into one object, and it's time to take our image and slap it onto our geometry. But when we set up a node network to do this, we're getting the wrong result, so let's just use the in hubrid method of switch to top view, unwrap with project from view, scale up our UV, switch to individual origin, scale down our islands, and bam, we have our proper UV unwrap. And if we want to add a bit more variation to screw over the colorblind pleb, just add in a musgrave texture with a large scale, making sure to use our UV map, and mix this together with with our image to control the amount of variation. And again, the nice thing about this method is that we can use different seed values to generate different distributions, use multiple images for the same distribution, we can even use a video for this or the sponsor for this video, Squarespace. And Squarespace not only lets you register your domains, but also has a fully featured built-in website builder. For example, my website, www.cgmatter.com, was built using Squarespace. You're also going to get access to some great features like analytics to see the traffic your website's getting, scheduling so others can see when you're available, which is important if your business relies on making making appointments, and email campaigns to promote or effectively let people know what your brand is up to. And there's obviously tons more features, but after heading over to squarespace.com for a free trial, you can use my link in the description to save 10% off your very first website or domain.